I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakradash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone, who well. Peace and salutations to the elect. Much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four corners of the globe. Shalom to you few sisters out there that's listening, learning, doing the right thing. This is Brother Abiyah coming at you with a quick cut here. And uh, <clears throat> this is just something I was interested in, so I looked it up. You know, because, you know, every time I leave my house, man, I, I see a, a Israelite woman, you know, with some type of weave or sewing or, you know, what have you, man. I just wanted to know where it originated from, man. And it came from a woman uh, named Christina Jenkins. Okay, she's the woman who invented the weave, man. Okay. So... It says it's no uh, overstatement to say that Christina Jenkins changed women's lives forever when she invented the hair weave, also known as the sewing, a huge advancement in hairstyling. Okay? Because we all we know the curses of, you know, how the Most High took, you know, Israelite women's hair, man. Particularly uh, the southern kingdoms. Okay? And this is something that uh, the Most High put the spirit on her to do, you know? Now, you know, women think that this was a help, but it was, really wasn't a help, man, because, you know, when you're sewing your, uh, someone else's hair to your hair, man, that's, you know, you, you're mixing energies there, man, okay? And that could affect your mood, that, that can affect, you know, how, how you operate, man, you know, as far, you know, as far as women that do that. And it's something that women don't consider, you know? And, uh, you know, I noticed that a lot of women, you know, <clears throat> can't really change their weave, you know, because it's very expensive, man. And I've seen firsthand, you know, women having maggots in their hair, you know, the, the weave smelling real bad, you know. And I'm not making this video to try to get on women or degrade women or anything like that, man. I just wanted to go into the history of you know, where the, where this came from, man. You know, where these weaves came from. Because us brothers, you know, we don't particularly like it. We don't like the way y'all look with them, you know. They don't they don't look good. They're, they're not... Uh, they're not hygienic, you know. They're, they're, it's not good hygiene to wear somebody else's hair in your head, man. Okay? So I'm not I'm not making this video to make fun of, of, of women or anything like that. Okay? It says uh, she was a trailblazer, right? It says Jenkins and her husband moved to Ohio where Christina began to teach hair weave technique to other cosmetologists and stylists traveling across Europe, teaching her innovative method. She opened her very own Christina's hair weave penthouse salon in, in Cleveland, which she ran into 1993, okay? So she's pretty much the godmother of all this, man. Okay? And then, what happened? The other nations came in and took it over, and now they're the ones that are profiting off of, of it, you know? And this is what they do throughout history. Okay? But I just wanted to, you know, show this real quick. I got a video that I wanted to play. Okay? Hold on, let me see. This is the woman right here. This is this is the woman that I'm speaking of here that created the weave and the sewing, you know? Kind of look like Lena Horn, man. All right, so I'm going to play this video real quick, and I'm going to get into some scriptures, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying.
Okay, so yeah, you seen the video. And these are things that you know we see every day, man. And like I said, I'm not making this video to make fun of any you know woman that uses that, man. You know, but for me myself, it's, it's it saddens me to see that, man. Even though I know you know it's a curse from the heavenly Father, it still it saddens me to see that you know our women really uh, hate, hate themselves, man, you know? And they hate themselves to the point where they try to, you know, look like someone else, man, other than they self, you know? But the Heavenly Father, you know, took their took they head, so they don't have nowhere to turn, man. It's basically their only alternative, man, you know? And that's something I don't never uh, take pleasure in seeing someone else's uh, suffering, man. But anyway, you know, this is something that I wanted to, to look up, man, who, who invented it, because I never knew. And I said, hey, maybe, I, you know, I'll do a little quick lesson on it, man. Because me growing up, I would see my grandmother uh, <clears throat> wear wigs. You know, I remember, I remember me being young and me walking in the room and seeing her with a wig off. And, you know, I ain't know who she was. I'm like, yo, who, you know, who is that, you know? And then when she started talking, I was like, oh, that's grandma, you know? And she ain't had no hair, you know? My great, that was my great grandmother. My grandmother, she wore a wig. You know, my mother's mother, she wore a wig. You know, I got, you know, cousins that, you know, wear, uh, wear weaves, you know? And like, yo, they, they don't look good at all, man, you know? And I can't wait for, you know, when we get into, into the kingdom, we see... We get to see, you know, our women the way they were meant to look, man. Get to see them in their in their in their true in their true form, man. That's going to be a beautiful thing to see. You know, I got an aunt, man. That she bald as Isaac Hayes, man. Straight up baldy, man. She got the Michael Jordan. You know, these cur this curse that the Heavenly Father put on. Israelite women, man, is really it's destroying them, and that's what it was meant to do. You know, it was meant to to humble them, humble them, right, and make them feel shameful, man. Because at the end of the day, their hair is a covering, man. And the heavenly Father made sure that they didn't have a natural covering, man. Okay, so he put the spirit on this woman to give them a fake covering, man. And that covering doesn't look good at all, man. Heavenly Father, man, is not to be played with. This is Isaiah 3 and 16. Moreover, the Lord said, Because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go, and making a tinkling with their feet, therefore the Lord will smite with the scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. And that day the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their calls and their round tires like the moon the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings the rings the nose jewels the changeable suits of apparel and the mantles and the wimples and the crisping pins the glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. And instead of a girdle of rent, and instead of well-set hair baldness, and instead of a stomacher a girding of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty. Okay? And the Heavenly Father is really, you know, <laughs> man. Ugh. You know, he really did some work on, on, on our women, man, okay? All of us, man, we all going through, uh, you know, curses, man. No one's exempt from the curses, but the Heavenly Father really, you know, he really went in on the women, man. Just looking at that video alone, you know, lets you know just how, how the Heavenly Father really beat them down, man, okay? And it shall come to pass that instead of, instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. And that's what I was talking about earlier, man. Them weaves, they don't smell good at all, man. 
especially when women have them in too long. You know, they have maggots in them and things like that, man. I've seen all of that, man. You know? And, uh, yeah, man, the most high is, you know, I ain't even going to talk about the, you know, the, the downward regions, because that's what that's talking about, man. The sweet smell there shall be stink, man. All brothers have experienced that before, man, as far as dealing with a woman. You take the pants off and, you know, you know, clear the stadium out. Um, let me get this real quick. I'm going to get into NLT, man. Okay. My Bibles. Because it really went into. Okay. Right. And it says instead of sweet smell of perfume, she will stink. She will wear a rope for a sash and her elegant hair will fall out. She will wear rough burlap instead of rich clothes. Shame will replace her beauty, man. Okay? And that's basically what we've seen in the video that I showed, man. Shame. You know, these women are ashamed, man. There's no way that they look in the mirror, especially the ones that had the damn zipper on the side. I don't know what that's all about. But there's no way that you could be proud looking in the mirror looking like that, man. You know? That's why I said I can't wait for the kingdom to come so we can see our women, you know, in all of their splendor, man. You know, because, you know, southern southern uh tribe women are beautiful, man. Okay? It's just the spirit that's in you right now is not. You know, the way you are, the way you think, the way you act, the way you treat people. And the way you treat yourself, you know, it's a turn off, man. I'm going to go into this real quick in the interlinear. To that word, uh, stink, real quick. It's mock. Okay. It says decay or rottenness or rottenness, man. Putridity, man, like a putrid smell, man. That's that's more like a rotting, a rotting corpse, you know. Like I said, brothers know what I'm talking about, man. You know, we've all had, you know, had that experience where we was hyped, we was about to, you know, get down, and then the pants came off, and you may have passed out for like 15 seconds. Um, yeah, man. The Heavenly Father really, really did a did a number on our women, man. You know? But this is part of the curses here, man. And like I said, man, this is not like a, a... I'm not trying to joke on women or none of that, man. I'm just really wanted to know where, where the weaves came from, you know? Because I didn't know. Right? But, uh, you know, women that got weaves, man, don't worry. In the kingdom... You're going to have hair all the way down your back, man. You know? You're going to be back in your natural, uh, you know, your natural lot, man. You know? So, yeah, I just wanted to go through this real quick, man. This is really the only scripture I had. Like I said, this was supposed to be just a quick cut, man. You know, Lord willing, it was edifying for whoever it was meant to be edifying for. I just wanted to uh, make this real quick, and uh, I want to say shalom to the next one.